has this occupation been going on for so long? Why isn't the U.S. invading? Let's get you suited up. Because more people might die in the invasion than the occupation. Yeah, but at least this would be over. I can't stand it. Day in, day out. They must be out there. They wouldn't let Skeltech and Sentinel just exist here unsupervised. Maybe an occupation needs a vote in Congress. Where have you been for the last 50 years? Either way, there are 30,000 civilians here, most of them American citizens. They <sighs> are you boys all right or what? We're the only two left in our chalk. No radio, no drones. Between the two of us, we got two rifles and eight mags. Locals got water here, and some supplies. Can you believe this place, man? God damn. My mind's blown. Yep. And they're friendly, more or less, but they're still keeping us on a short leash. <sighs> you boys know what took out our birds? No clue. But there are definitely hostiles out there. Tangled with some troops out there who were calling themselves wolves. You know who we're dealing with? Now you're dealing with me. You the one in charge here? Who's asking? My call sign's Nomad. I'm the officer in charge of this operation. By operation, I assume you mean the massively wild screw up. Hey, old man. You playing nice? I'm just trying to find out why a bunch of grunts are falling from the sky into our laps, honey. Well, someone sank a naval cargo ship off the coast. Then the entire archipelago of Aro went dark. Now, we were sent here to figure out what happened. Next thing we know, the choppers were taken down. Almost half of my soldiers are dead. Best we can tell some kind of military takeover. Sentinel, the military contractors, they put this place under martial law, using the old boot-in-the-neck technique to enforce it. Skeltech is still making all the high-tech stuff they always make, except maybe now they're making more weapons. Not exactly the libertarian utopia J. Skell advertised. Where can I find J. Skell? Ah, uh, the head of Skeltech himself. Mm. We haven't seen him, but his drones are keeping an eye on his islands. So you think he's still a part of this? I'm just not sure why. All right. Well, I'll put figuring it out on my to-do list. For now, I see our wounded. Yeah. One of your guys needs to rest, but he won't shut up. Calm him down, yeah? 
And then come find me. I'll give you the guided tour. Who's left? Who made it? Hey, you just relax, pal. I'm doing what I can. You damn superhero. <sighs> Here. Here's another superpower. Can't find Midas. But Weaver. <sighs> hey, you just relax, pal. We'll take care of it, all right? And the wasp. Yeah. And with the comms blackout, I can't reach the ship. But I'll talk to Mad Shells, the big guy. You might have a boat I can use. Don't you worry. I'll come back with some help. Go. occupation been going on for so long why isn't the u.s invading because more people might die in the invasion than the occupation yeah but at least this would be over i can't stand it it's day in day out they must be out there they wouldn't let skeltech and sentinel just exist here unsupervised
Maybe an occupation needs a vote in Congress. Ha! Where have you been for the last 50 years? Either way, there are 30,000 civilians here, most of them American citizens. They can't just leave us. No, well, special forces are here. Maybe that's just the beginning. You ready for your personal tour of Erewhon? Just don't forget to swing by the gift shop. Never. <laughs> bang, bang! <laughs> Now, the naval station closed down years ago. Who are these kids? The birds and the bees, Nomad. We've got three generations living on this island. If I can be blunt, I don't like you soldiers being here. It puts these kids at risk. But my old man bleeds red, white, and blue, so we'll never turn our backs on you. I can sort you out if you need any gear or supplies. You and your troops can bivouac over there. If you really get to feel froggy, you can talk to Sergeant Rowan Brown. He used to be Kiwi SAS. He likes scouting around the island for those elite troops. They call themselves wolves. Rowan likes picking fights with them. And over in our war room, we're working on our own logistics. You can usually find Mads in there. There's a Skeltic engineer, Jericho, hanging around. She's worried about something big on another island. You might need to bring some friends with you on that picnic. So like I said, we will never turn our backs on you, but you better not do anything to put this community in danger. Oh, I think you've got a hunch it's already in danger. But don't worry. I'll do my best to keep all of you safe. Let's hope it's enough. I need to be brought up to speed on the situation here. Hell, I don't know much. We try to stay away from what goes on on the other side of the island. But lately, things have just gotten so you can't ignore it anymore. What's been happening? Try to remember every detail you can. Let's see. I guess it all started when the Skell headquarters was bombed. After that, everything changed. They brought in the security company, Sentinel. They were supposed to keep everything safe. But then it all went to shit. You mean Skell went missing? Missing? They said terrorists kidnapped him. You believe that? Hell no. They're making all that stuff up. Why would they do that? I have no idea. The only thing I can say for sure is ever since he went missing, Sentinel got a lot more aggressive. They're looking everywhere for Skell. They want him bad. Listen, I'm gonna need to gear up, but... I didn't exactly bring much cash on this trip. If you're asking for money, I can't help you. Wish I could, but look, I need to buy my stock, and with things as they are... Don't worry. I'll find a way to get what I need. Just tell me what people use to buy things on Aurora. Well, the good news is, everyone takes American dollars and New Zealand dollars. But they're pretty rare. Most people use something called Screds. It's some kind of computer money Skeltech came up with. Cryptocurrency, I think they call it. You can buy things with it just like regular money. Bunch of hooey, if you ask me. What do I need to access it? Oh, it's everywhere. It's virtual, you see? You can find it on just about any computer, or cell phones, or data pads. Hell, even the drones and relay antennas can get them. They're floating all around in signals or some such thing. Well, then I guess I'll be making some withdrawals. I'll see you around. You be safe out there. 
Yes, ma'am. I'll see you around. You be safe out there. Yes, ma'am. What's the best way to customize my weapons around? Well, let's see. You're probably going to want a new scope, a couple of rail attachments, some bigger magazines, maybe even a new suppressor. Huh. You know your stuff. When we came out here, we were planning to survive. Do you have anything you could sell me? I don't have much, but you can take a look. I'll sell you what I can. If you need something I don't have, you can rummage through any military crates you stumble across. The more Sentinel Corp guns guarding them, the more likely you'll be interested in what they're keeping inside. I like the way you think. Let me know what you need. Has this occupation been going on for so long? Why isn't the U.S. invading? Because more people might die in the invasion than the occupation. Yeah, but at least this would be over. You heard from Samuel? Not since last week. I'm sure Hello. everything's fine. No need to fear. Fine. Last time I saw him, he was stomping through here like a goddamn hurricane. Well, that doesn't mean anything. Couldn't help but over here. There's some kind of problem. We're not sure. Our friend Samuel's missing. He a homesteader? Yeah, he used to be. Before he decided he'd rather live by himself. No great loss, if you ask me. He likes catching his own food. Says it keeps him closer to nature or something like that. And then he gives the furs and leftover meat to the camp. Never takes anything in return. I don't get it. Sounds like he knows how to take care of himself. Last week, he was down here hollering about running into a bunch of sentinels on his land. They said they carried away a couple of deer he caught, smashed up his traps, and then... This week? Nothing. Samuel's always had a temper, but in this place, these days, you say the wrong thing to the wrong person... Well, you know. Yeah, I know. Say, where are his usual stomping grounds? He's typically around to the southeast of Garden Mangrove, northeastern part of Guyaron. I'll see if I can find him. Thanks. 
Awesome. Thanks. How's your pal? Holding up. Thanks for looking after him. You heard anything about a Lieutenant Colonel Walker? That the guy that works with the troops call themselves the Wolves? He used to be Skeltech's military advisor. Heard he was an operator. You know him? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, we met a couple times. You got a mean look in your eye. You got big plans? You know how I can get off this island? Right. And leave us regular folk to fend for ourselves, huh? Auckland is 2,000 kilometers away. It's an awful long way to run with your tail between your legs. I'm not running, Mads. The USS Wasp is a couple dozen clicks off the coast. If I can get there, I can come back here with some help. The Wasp, huh? Not sure I'm fond of the idea of a bunch of squids running around our island. <clears throat> well, there are a couple of jarheads on board, too. Well, if that's the case... Look, I'll be straight with you. We know that we're no match for former spec ops. So some of our friends, homesteaders and Skell employees both, are leaving the island on a couple of boats. Can you get them protection on the Wasp? Absolutely. All right. I'll tell you where the boats are. Nomad, how are you? Missing the comforts of home. Otherwise, not bad. Don't let those comforts control you. Listen, I've been tied up with some personal business, so I was hoping you would do me a favor. Sure. What's up? Rumor has it some old dog tags turned up just west of Howard Port. The fellow who discovered them said he found them on a skeleton out in the woods by a bombed-out old jeep. He didn't want to disturb the remains out of respect. Thing is, I think they belong to a Cold War buddy of mine. Cal was a good soldier and an even better friend. He saved my life half a dozen times. Sad we lost touch over the years and... Well, I'd just really like to know what happened. Yeah, I get it. We've both buried our share of friends. I'll check it out. I suggest searching just north of Groves Pond. Shouldn't be too tough to find. 
It's near Gordon Slough, over in the Sinking Country province. I'm on it. Lucky you found this place. Rowan Brown knew about this place for a while. We figured sacred ground always makes good sanctuary. That's pretty damp, though. It's still a work in progress, all right? We've managed to stay under the radar so far. With all of you, our people, a bunch of Skeltech employees. I don't think you've got room to complain. Hey, I'm not complaining. This place is great. It'd be a pretty island without all the military contractors and killer drones. Used to be. I'd get some leave and just walk. I'd spend whole weeks just walking around with a pack on my shoulder. Uh, well, I'm probably getting my share of sightseeing. These islands have changed hands so much it's like a time capsule. I keep telling myself one day I'll get back out there, just see it all again before I'm too old to make the trip. Then again, who knows how far I'd get now. You don't look like Skeltech employees. No. I used to be a Marine at the Naval Station here. Some of the folks you see, like Maria, my old lady, they lived on the station with their families. When the Navy shut the place down in the 90s, a few of us stayed and homesteaded. We worked a long time to make a place for ourselves on Aroa. And now, you're in Sentinel's way. Most of my people are holing up here for now. I ain't been home in a dog's age, but I'll stand by any man or woman in green. You soldiers can stay as long as you don't cause trouble. And you lend a hand. We appreciate it. Lucky you found this place. Rowan Brown, it's still a... Hey, I'll talk... See ya.